Hey folks, and welcome to my first full friend battle of Gen 5. Um, this is a singles match against Jash9111, um, whose link you will find in the channel description and in the annotations, hopefully. Um, this is someone who I met on Smogon, um, but who does have a YouTube channel. Um, that number seems to indicate that I tried to upload this battle to... Um, the GTS, so potentially you could put in that number and watch it on there. I'm not sure if that actually works. Anyway, the battle begins, and here we go. Yeah, three of these guys are um, rebreeds of guys from my in-game team. Three of them are brand new. Um, and I tested this team for a bit on Pokemon Online, both Pokemon Online and the Smogon servers, but you never know how it's going to perform until you're actually in a battle. So I lead off with my Jufro. You can basically break um, all competitive Pokemon players into two camps, those who have seen Aeroflume before and those who haven't. Um, people who have not seen Aeroflume before are like, what the hell is that? And they're going to try to um, set up Stealth Rocks or something. Um, but Jufro has Mischievous Heart, um, so it has plus one um, priority for any non-attacking moves, including Taunt. So the idea is to completely shut down Stealth Rocks, because Stealth Rocks do massive, massive mischief on my team and completely ruin half the team. So anyway, um, I decided, you know, he obviously either knew what an airplane was or thought he could kill me. Luckily I had the Sash, so I've been down to no HP, um, even though after he switched out, now I've gotten a Giga Drain off. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. So I'm going to have to pull back my Jufro. Oh, no, wait. No. Oh, I don't know. He switched to his sweep, and I think I was foddering my Jufro. Um, but uh, anyway, it goes out and sends, sends out a Suicune, um, and I go ahead and use Taunt. Um, I guess I didn't want him to Swords Dance. I was really just foddering um, my Arafoon, also known as Whimsicott, according to my cheat sheet. Yeah, so Gen 5 um, names have been released, uh, or leaked rather, and uh, as more and more confirmed, I'm gaining more and more confidence in this leaked list. Um, if you ask me for it, I will send it to you. Just leave a comment. Anyway, um, so he went out ahead and sent out Suicune, and that's great for me because I was able to recover a, a, quite a bit of health with Giga Drain, um, and he's down to half health, and I, he wasn't able to one-hit KO me with boiling water, so that's absolutely amazing, and so I'm just going to keep on Giga Draining until he switches out or kills me, whichever comes first. Um, but yeah, so he's down to almost no HP, so even if he goes for a Calm Mind here, I mean, I guess he could go for an Ice Beam, and that would kind of kill me. Um, yeah, so yeah, Suicune goes for Ice Beam, uh, and that's going to kill me since it's going to be a super effective hit, um, unlike Boiling Water, which was resisted even though it got stabbed. So anyway, um, my Jufro goes down, um, yeah, too bad the shiny form doesn't have, uh, you know, black cotton hair, because then it would actually look like a Jufro. But anyway, um, so yeah, the taunts ended, uh, oh, he couldn't have, um, combined it anyway, so that's great. So I go ahead and send out my Denshura. And I'm going to go ahead and use Thunder, uh, which even with the accuracy boost from Compound Eyes, it's not 100%. Um, I don't think it's even 80%. It's, I guess, 0.7 times 1.1. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I miss, and that costs me dearly. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm now down to very low health, um, or 50% health. But, you know, I've got Life Orb on this guy, so he's not going to be able to survive too much longer. And, you know, with these Life Orb, I take a little bit more damage. Um, and so I do take out his Suicune with a Bug Buzz, and so that's good. Um, he goes ahead and sets out mold, uh, his Mold Breaker, um, Rampardo, so I'm just going to try to KO with an Energy Ball. These things are glass cannons. They have no defenses to speak of, even though uh, they hit pretty hard. So, yeah, um, I was able to one-hit KO it. Oh, no, it has a Focus Sash. So yeah, it's got a Focus Sash, and that's going to let it hang on, and that's probably, and I think it's about to kill me. Uh, no, it goes ahead and uses Rock Polish. So, um, yeah, great for me, uh, because I've got Sucker Punch on this baby, as I alluded to in my last battle. Um, and so yeah, whenever he attacks, he's going to have to die. Um, and so he decided to attack that turn, and so now he's dead. Um, and I'm down to 19 HP. One more Life Orb is going to kill me. Um, but so, yeah. So he goes ahead and sends out his uh, Dragonite. I don't know why I'm calling him he. I have no evidence to support that Jash9111 is either male or female, and it's it, he or her, his or her training avatar is a girl. Anyway, I get uh, the Parahax on uh, Dragonite, even though I do get KO'd from the Light Orb recoil. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, Dragonite goes ahead and uses Dragon Dance, which is going to boost his attack quite a bit. 
um, but is not going to boost his, um, I mean, his speed is going to be, what, um, one, one fourth plus, you know, one boost. Uh, yeah, that Parahax went really, really well for me. So I go ahead and send out my Furihiro, um, thinking that I can take him out. Um, Furihiro's purpose on this team is to kill dragons, but he has extreme speed, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, and even though I have this thing, AV trained, for maximum defensive bulk, uh, extreme speed one hit KOs me with a crit. So I'm, this is, that was the first and last time you will see my Furihiro, or uh, I guess its English name is Cryogonal, um, but yeah. So anyway, he's going to keep on extreme speeding, uh, doing as much damage as he can, um, and I'm just hoping for no crit here, and indeed I survive, but uh, his Niter avoids my Stone Edge, and I'm like, oh jeez, my poor Kajundo. Um, also known apparently as Mianxiao, I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, I'm going to pull back River, um, which is the name of my Kajundo, because it's got regeneration, so when it switches, it'll have, um, it'll get back a third of its HP. And I was predicting this extreme speed, and that's great, um, because he can't do anything to me. And I, as I realized, this was actually a better move, because since he's, para uh, he's paralyzed, his speed's going to be in the toilet. And so I can just KO it with Shadow Ball before it has a chance to attack me. Um, because Extreme Speed is, you know, doesn't do anything to ghosts. Uh, unfortunately, I waited too long and it recovered too much health, and uh, I was not able to one-hit KO it, and so a Dragon Claw at plus one is going to be enough to kill my Ikea, my Shandera, also known as Chandelure. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about these English names, uh, but I think it's just the fact that I'm used to the, um, the Japanese transliterations. Anyway, I go ahead and send out my HCHB, my uh, Abagora, also known as Caracosta, who is absolutely amazing. I go ahead and one hit, I uh, KO it with a priority Aqua Jet, um, even though um, HCHB's speed is so low. Um, but so anyway, uh, he sends out Caesar, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, set up with my Shell Break. Since I have full HP, he never did set up any rocks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use Shell Break, which is going to uh, double my attack, my speed, and my um, special attack. Special attack's not really useful because I don't have any special moves on this guy. But now um, you might I, you might remember that I was talking about how my um, my Caracosta is EV trained in speed, and uh, even so, it uh, without any boosts, it doesn't outrun anything. Molasses outruns it, um, but. Uh, because it is, uh, it's got that shell break, it doubles its speed and it will outrun pretty much everything um, that's not extremely fast after one shell break. After two, it will, it will outrun everything. So anyway, I go ahead and use Rock Slide, which at plus two, um, I get a crit, which is enough to KO his Red Claws. Um, I'm not sure, if, I'm almost positive that I needed that crit, but had I not gotten it, I probably could have KO'd him on the next turn with the Priority Aqua Jet. So, did that crit matter? Uh, you, the viewers, have to decide. He goes ahead and sends out his, um, whatchamacallit, Urugamosu, Urugamoth, Volcarona, um, and I go ahead and use a super effective Aqua Jet. Um, I'm almost positive I would have outsped it unless it was holding a scarf, but I didn't want to take the risk of missing, so I do go ahead and take it out, um, and I am sweeping through his team, which is kind of amazing. You know, Caracosta is, not, is kind of a Pokemon that a lot of people underestimate. Even on uh, on the Pokemon Online servers, I've had dozens of battles where this guy has swept through entire teams, and yet still no one really gives it credit. You don't really see it running around too much. Um, probably because it takes a lot of support. You need to make sure there are no Stealth Rocks, otherwise Sturdy is useless. So anyway, I have swept through the rest of his team, and I've won the match. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So long!